Hey everybody, uh, so I'm making this video, it's a bit out of my wheelhouse uh, with what I normally do. Um, this is going to be discussing a, an audio processing plugin specifically. So nothing to do with photography, which is kind of my normal wheelhouse, my profession. <laughs> um, but I do have a background and a history in uh, working in music and music production. And so I have a ton of plugins, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds that I use on a regular basis. And there's a lot of crossover between what I do in photography education, putting together videos and podcasts and stuff like that, and dealing with the audio uh, from that, you know, that content and that media um, with what I process on the plugin side. A lot of the compressors that I use to record records way back in the day did about like 15 albums for bands like uh, forever ago. Um, but a lot of the plugins that I use for compression, EQ, um, effects of all kinds um, carry over a bit into podcasting and uh, other videos uh, using a shotgun mic when I'm recording myself, you know, doing a tutorial or something like that. So uh, one of the problems I always have with the educational type of content is that it's usually recorded in less than ideal situations. Um, the room is definitely not treated for audio in any way. Uh, the microphones usually aren't very high quality. I do have a really high quality microphone right here. Actually, I wasn't really even talking into it until right now. <laughs> um, oh, and my seat is very, you, you have all these weird noises and sounds and almost nobody ha lives in a room. I mean, my room is exceptionally messy, but you tend to have just tons of reflections, reverbs, fans running, computer fans, AC, ice machines, whatever. Um, this microphone, though I wouldn't normally use it for a podcast or anything, you know, educational video related. Um, it is very high quality just to demonstrate the effectiveness of the plugin I'm going to talk about. And it's the, uh, I guess it just launched recently. I just bought it today, randomly. I came across it. It's a universal audio plugin made in, uh, I guess, a partnership designed with a company called Cedar, C-E-D-A-R. And it's meant for vocals, clearly. It's called Cvox. Just lost my light here. That's annoying. Um, but the vocal aspect of it, I actually tried this on a guitar and it's it's got sort of a musical setting um, that it, it sounds very natural. But, uh, you know, I'm not going to do a beginning to end review of this plugin. I'm just going to demonstrate the fact that it does an exceptionally good job canceling the ambient room noise and all the noise from all the stuff, all the fans that people tend to be around when they record all kinds of videos. Uh, so it's been on this entire time right now, on at full intensity. You can see 100% attenuation and 0% ambience. And I'll go through these two settings in a second, but let me just toggle it off. I'm going to hit it in bypass so you can hear how much noise has been going on in the background this entire time. Okay. And if you don't hear any difference, <laughs> uh, maybe put on headphones or just turn up the volume a bit. Now, uh, toggling this uh, back on, you'll probably start to pick up on the fact that it does cut my voice and my sentences a little bit short. If you have a really fine-tuned ear for that kind of thing, you can hear it just kind of clip the, the bottom end. But it does leave a little bit of reverb tail, which I'm super impressed by. And if you do this with a musical instrument, you'll uh, hear it even more clearly. Like It has a musical component uh, with the way that it works. It's very, very natural far superior to any other plugin I've ever used. I have the Waves Z Noise. I've got something from another company called uh, SoftTube, I think. And, and anyway, I've tried them all. This one is real time and accurate and beautiful. And you can dial it in. I, again, I have it set at 100%. So what I would recommend doing is setting it to 100% um, attenuation and then don't say anything uh, and, and dial it back. And you can hear it. It kind of sweeps starting in the high end and sweeps across the entire spectrum. So in my room with these sound uh, sources in the background and my microphone right around like 88 sounds good on these headphones where that's right the tipping point before I start to hear a little bit of the fan noise from my AC that's blasting. Um, now the ambience button this actually separates the uh, noise of like a fan or whatever from the natural ambience in the space and tries to keep the natural tune and musicality of the room, the actual reverb that you're in, to, to leave it sort of be natural if you like the way your room sounds, uh, which is kind of cool. But I find for like maybe a podcast situation or something like that, I'm going to keep everything 
pretty maxed out because I wanted to sound close and intimate. And, uh, you know, again, this is like worst case scenario. The, the microphone is pointed back in the direction of my AC. I've got my GPU fan running. I've got all kinds of stuff going. And this is, take it from me, I have tried every type of sound treatment, 700 rigid fiberglass, 705 rigid fiberglass, an entire room full of all the sound dampening materials that actually work and are really good. Um, over the years, I've like moved a bunch and I've found that it's just, you need so much room treatment to have a really deadened room. Um, and this is the first plugin that actually brings me right into that realm without having to have anything physical in my environment to achieve it. That's incredible. It's a little expensive. It's like 349 bucks. Uh, I only bought it because I own a ton of other universal audio plugins and um, got like a special. They do sales occasionally. So I just picked it up and this is incredible. I'm probably going to use it on like everything uh, <laughs> that I do from now on because I don't have to deal so much with, um, you know, putting in little ISO booths and, and or, you know, reflection stuff. It's just simple. So uh, anyway, I hope you found this review helpful. And uh, if you have any questions, let me know. I, I have no association with Universal Audio at all. Uh, bottom line is if you've been looking for a way to get really close and intimate um, microphone, uh, like you know, vocal music uh, instruments or just talking into a microphone, uh, really close and intimate microphone sounds, this plugin is absolutely the best thing I've ever come across by a long shot. And I can highly recommend it. Um, oh, I will say, it does have another mode, which is noise. It's noise or room. And noise seems much, much more harsh and extreme in the way that it cuts everything off. The room is way more natural and musical in the way that it kind of bleeds in and out of the totally dead noise to what you hear in my voice. The noise one is much more like it's a gate, a really harsh gate. Uh, and if you know anything about music plugins, you, using a gate is sort of like an extreme fancy inverse compressor, uh, something like that. <laughs> it's hard to explain. Uh, and I'm not a professional producer by any stretch, but the noise one, it works really well. If, if you're in an, an extreme, extreme environment, I think this is probably a good option. Um, but the room really uh, is exceptional and kind of magical in the way that it works. So I'm going to stop there. Thank you so much. If you've made it this far, uh, I appreciate your attention and yeah, take care out there. Bye.